I loved Marcus Sass for coming out of college. Really did. Like, I'm not, that's not me being saying this just to be ostentatious or be a little overzealous. Nah, like, this guy, this guy, this kid has got skill. Like, he, he was the best defensive point guard, arguably, behind, I guess, the Thompson twins and Anthony Black, maybe you could say. I guess he was the best pure, small point guard coming out of college. And, dude, this kid, a lot of people were like, oh, he's just a defensive guy, this or this. This guy played four years at Houston. All right, his last year, his last two years, he was averaging 17 and three a game. All right, he's six foot two with a six foot seven wingspan, eight foot three stand and reach. This guy's got real strength. That frame, that quickness, oh, it's been beautiful. And he's got that three-level skill that everybody needs in the NBA. He's an elite defender already coming out of college. Excels in a drop cover screen. I mean, dude, dude, this guy's got great ball handling skills. He can get open either by himself off ball or create through an ISO situation and drive through the lanes. And, dude, he's a good shooter who's spacing the floor already for this Pistons team. And the tough thing you want is that, yeah, he's smaller, but, like, dude, this guy is able to, you know, be a player. He embraces the role of you know, being a connector and not over dribbling. And he has the ability to make quick decisions. And like, really, this guy could be like a better version of Pat Beverly. Like this could be Pat Bev mixed with, I want to say like, I want to give credit to another guy who's a really good defender at six foot two, maybe like Pat Bev and Austin Rivers. I don't know. I feel Austin Rivers, George Hill. Okay. Make spot up threes, hit the occasional pull up, continue, you know, continue to facilitate the offense when the primary score or the, facilitators off the floor and be an elite defensive pest and because he's such a good shooter off the catch like on catch and shoot i dude this this kid's ridiculous and you got to see it tonight ladies and gentlemen what he's able to do on a regular basis and that's what makes him so special and so much fun to watch especially if you're a pistons fan and you hadn't like they almost beat the the bucks i know Giannis got injected but this 26 from sasser three of seven from three couldn't miss um, I mean, K Cunningham at 33 and they, the, the Pistons were missing six players due to illness or injury. So for me, I think seeing the young guys be able to stay in the fight like that. All right. I think is something that will go underrated for way too long over time. So I, I do want to give credit there where I believe credit is due. So I want to hear your guys' opinions. What do you guys think of this Piston squad and, it's just me who's as excited as I am to see them just play because they are really fun to watch. But, you know, they are young. That's where I'm going to leave it. I hope you guys do enjoy. Like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.